Hello and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can create this beautiful Christmas text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. First, I'll remove everything from this hardboard. So we can start from scratch. Let's go to layer, select our background layer. We need a background here. Select the rectangle tool, click on the artboard and we need a 1000 point by 1000 point artboard. Click OK. Center this to the artboard, go to the gradient panel and choose a radial gradient. Double click on black and change the color to this. Double click on white, change the color to okay. We have our simple background now. Let's select the text effect layer and type our text. Let's center this to the artboard. The font size is 285 point. The font I'm using for this text effect today is Cheetah Kick. Let's center this to artboard. Okay. Click on None to remove the fill color and then go to Appearance Panel. Click on Add New Fill, then go to the gradient and click on the white and black default gradient change the angle to 90 let's double click on black and change the color to this now go again to the appearance panel and duplicate this layer now select the bottom layer and go to effect blur and question blur and apply a Two point question but click ok now select the first layer and go to effect stylize and inner glow change the color to this one click ok now select this first layer and duplicate this and drag this to the bottom Let's remove our inner glow from this layer. Select this layer and change the gradient angle to minus 90. Go to appearance panel. Go to effect, path and offset path. At seven point offset path and change the joints, joints to round. Click OK. Let's adjust this gradient a little bit and also this one okay select this last layer and duplicate this and now select this layer Change the color to E. Click OK. Now open the property panel and change the offset path from 7 to 17 and click OK. Select this layer and again duplicate this. And now select this second layer and open the property panel change the offset path from 17 to 31 click ok now select this first red layer and duplicate this two times now change the color to white now select this first layer and change the offset path to 12 click ok select this second layer change the offset path to 8 click ok now again select this layer go to effect blur and gaussian blur click ok select this white layer go to effect transform distort and transform and transform let's adjust these values 
this click ok now change the opacity to 50 percent now select this second white layer go to effect blur and gaussian blur click ok now again select this layer and go to distort and transform and transform and change the values like this click ok now close this and select this last red layer and duplicate this and after that select select it and go to offset path and change the values to from 31.2 35 and click ok now we'll change color of this layer apply the default black and white change the angle to 90 double click on black and change the color to this one double click on white and change the color to this one now go again to the appearance panel and duplicate this layer select the last layer go again to the gradient panel double click on this layer double click on the color and change the color to change the color like this now go again to the appearance panel and keep selecting this layer now go to effect distort and transform and transform and put these values now select this layer go to effect stylize and inner glow and change the color to and change the blur values to click ok now select this layer and duplicate this let's change the color for now and go to effect transform and transform and move it like this select this black layer drag to the bottom and let's change again the transform values now select black and go to blur and uh, apply a Gaussian blur of 10 pixel click ok change the opacity change the blend mode to multiply so we have our text effect now let's first add text Let's add some elements to make it more beautiful. Here are the elements that I have already downloaded from the free pick. I will provide the link in the description. You can download these elements from there. Let's copy this and paste it here. Let's hide our text effect for now. Let's adjust these elements. Let's bring these elements to and also this one. Let's 
place it here duplicate this one place it like base we need a rectangle to power clip all these elements i have copied this background and pasted on this layer let's center this to the artboard and select all the elements in this layer and that's let's unhide our text effect so here we go here is our final text effect if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching